Toucan Toucans are the largest members of the woodpecker family and stand out for their exotic appearance. They look a lot like rhinoceroses. Externally they look very much like a rhinoceros but are not related to it. They are grouped in a family with the same name and number 37 species, of which the woodpeckers are the closest relatives. Size of the toucans varies to a small extent, their body length is 35 to 50 centimeters and weight is 150 to 330 g. These birds build as as follows body is dense, wings and bluntly cut tail of medium length, legs are small, neck is short, but the modest proportions of these body parts are compensated for by the beak. Beak of toucans is not only long, but also wide and looks massive and heavy from the outside. In reality, a toucan's beak weighs no more than the beak of other small birds. Cavities The edges of the beak are covered with small, sharp serrations that help hold round fruits. The plumage of these birds' plumage is rather rigid with a patch of bare skin between the beak and the eye. All species of toucans have a black body color, but parts of the neck, head, wings, thorax, legs, and even the iris of the eye are predominantly black. The beak is always bright, often red, yellow, or orange. Because of this toucans are considered to be among the most ornate birds. Area of distribution of these birds is limited by Central and South America, there are no narrow endemics among toucans, ranges of all species are rather vast. Of all species. Their habitats are also homogeneous, all toucans are forest birds. They inhabit dense forests, damp woodlands, plantation fringes, and urban gardens. They are sedentary, but some species can migrate through various belts of mountain forests, and during the breeding season they occur singly or as singles. Occurs singly or in pairs during the breeding season, otherwise they gather in small flocks. Toucans are not grumpy birds. Tolerant to their congeners and show true mutual assistance. Like crows, they don't fly away when attracted by the hustle and bustle. Fly away, but rush to the aid of their comrades and together make such a ruckus that the offender hurries to get away. The toucans are active only during daylight hours, they move mainly in the tree canopy and rarely come down to the ground. Their movements are sluggish, their flight is heavy, and but their calls are very piercing. Their voices vary from species to species, but most often they sound like a croaking or a high-pitched yowl. The diet of these birds consists mainly of succulent fruits of palms, nuts, all sorts of berries and fruits. As the fruits are usually ripen at the ends of branches that are too heavy for the toucan's weight, a long beak is helpful. The bird reaches for the most delicious fruits, and its manner of eating is peculiar. First, they pick the berries with the tip of their beak. With the tip of its beak, and then they catch and swallow it by flipping it gently in the air. Independently of their vegetarian diet, toucans may also eat small animals, spiders, lizards, frogs, toads and snakes, snakes, eggs and chicks of other birds. In nature, toucans have few enemies. Oddly enough, their bright coloration and large beak make these birds perfect camouflage in the canopy of trees. Intelligence, caution and collective support help them survive. Snakes, mostly tree boa constrictors, can attack the toucans. Mostly tree boa constrictors, birds of prey and, less frequently, wildcats. The local population has always hunted toucans for their tasty and fatty meat. They also used feathers and strips of brightly colored skin from of the birds' breasts were used to make ritual jewelry. Despite this, toucans didn't suffer much from hunting. And with the colonization of the Americas they began to settle in cultural landscapes. Nowadays they're often found in South American parks, plantations and gardens, where they often where they often gobble up bananas and other fruits. Their trusting and friendly disposition has made these birds popular pets in captivity, toucans show themselves to be very intelligent, curious, but not restless tenants.